In this video, we're taking a look at problem 3.2.11, which is not an old actuarial exam problem, but seems of a type that could easily occur on an actuarial exam, so I thought it would be good to do. We'll be finding the periodic payment, in this case, a, a semi-annual payment, on a loan with three consecutive outstanding balances that are given. Pretty short looking problem. A loan is being repaid with level payments of K every six months. The outstanding balances on three consecutive payment dates are these numbers. The goal is to find K. Pretty short to state, actually pretty simple to solve. Your, you know, your gut reaction to looking at problems like this is, okay, I need to draw a timeline or I need to use some formula, perhaps some fancy formula with annuities due or something or annuities immediate. But actually this is, you need to step back and say this, this could be simpler than that. Um, maybe it'd be good to first figure out the principal reduction in each of these periods. And actually, you know, the fact that it's six month periods is not really relevant. You're not really going to need to use that fact here. What is the principal reduction, the PR, if you like, in each of these cases? Do the subtraction. So we take 5190.72 and subtract the next balance, 5084.68. The principal reduction from this time to this time is 106.04. And the principal reduction for the next period should be a little bit bigger if it's a typical amortized loan. Take 5084.68 and subtract 4973.66. And we get a principal reduction of 111.02. Now again, I mean, I, we are going to use a formula here, but we don't need to write it down in an a, its abstract form. The total payment, K, is, is constant. It's a level payment. It's the same, and it's always made up of a principal reduction component and an interest component. So in the first case, the principal co reduction component is 106.04. And what's the component from interest? It would be the outstanding balance at the beginning times the interest, interest rate, which would be a six-month interest rate, but again, that's not really important. 5,190.72 times I. So that should be the payment for that first thing, a principal reduction component and, and an interest component. Same thing with the other, and they should be the same. The principal reduction component in the next period is 111.02, and the interest component is 5,084. 0.68 times the interest rate i. So to solve the problem, we can solve this equation for i, and then we can use either side with the solve value for i to find the total payment. We can plug that value of i back into either side. We should get the same thing. Um, let's see. So I want to isolate i first. Let's get i on the left side. Actually, I can do this in my head based on knowing what this is up here, 5,190.72 minus 5,084.68, I already know is 106.04. And on the other side, I'll have 111.02 minus 106.04, that will be 4.98. So I is going to be 498 divided by 106.04, 4.98 divided by 106.04i, the interest rate, six month interest rate is 0 0.04696341. Take that and plug it into either one of these expressions and you'll get to get the answer to the problem. Let's plug it in, I'll plug it into both just to see if we get the same thing. So let me go ahead and store that in register zero. I times, first of all, 5190.72 is this plus 106.04. Looks like the answer to the problem, K, is 349.81. And by the way, that is correct. I double checked that. Let's see that we get the same thing if we plug it in on the right side. Take 5084.68 times what's in, in register zero here. And now add 111.02. And I do indeed get the same answer, 349.81. So again, nothing real fancy here. We've had some pretty simple problems here recently. Um, but definitely something you should be able to handle for an actuarial exam.